Hello everybody and welcome to Pixelcraft. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the L96 bolt action sniper rifle, rifle which can be unlocked and used by the recon class. It's got great accuracy across all ranges and pretty much is one of the most popular battlefield sniper rifles. It's available in second assault however you can unlock it now as you could with the China Rising weapons. Uh, it's very similar to the M40A5 in damage but has very long, uh, not very long reload time but relatively long real reload time. Uh, it has a minimum damage of 59 and a maximum damage of 80. Obviously these are exact numbers because the full statistics aren't out yet as it's not fully been released. The capacity of rounds in the magazine is 10, has a rate of fire of 48 RPM and a reload time of 4.8 seconds which in comparison to the Scout Elite sniper rifle of 3.5 seconds is relatively snow slow. Now as the stats are not currently up I am pretty much going off how I've played with it and uh, this is pretty much just a general feel video it's not really anything fully serious because like I say I have no stats on any of these guns which means they're pretty much all just personal opinion and what I've been thinking of them so throughout this entire time actually I think throughout the all of these videos I'm rocking just the iron sights and default unlocks for this gun I think I might put a um, a straight pull bolt on it but nothing that actually affects the accuracy or anything else apart from that which proves that really it's not really the gun it's you can you can get kills because there are some good scenes that I have here uh, hopefully hopefully some of that gameplay will be shown well but um a lot of the time it's pretty much down to personal preference especially on scopes and stuff like that which really can change how well you perform with a gun but um, yeah, I'm actually using the mini grenades, which is a change up for me because I've been usually using the uh, RGO impact grenades, and I find those ridiculously overpowered and somewhat should be probably nerfed. But however, they're probably not going to be because they're kind of they are quite balanced. They have that damage decrease, but like I said, they 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 do have two, which makes them a very favourable choice. So I have uh, three different maps of gameplay here. The first being Siege of Shanghai. The second being um, Rogue Transmission and the third being uh, Operation Dawnbreaker I do believe and uh, I usually do bad on Dawnbreaker and uh, see um, Dawnbreaker and Rogue Transmission. Seizure Shanghai I'm usually okay on um, but uh, China Rising is out as well officially now which is interesting so all the guns are there all the maps uh, I do quite like Silk Road I also like um, Dragons Pass, I do believe it's called, or uh, Gillian Peak, sorry, I like that one, that one's amazing. It's really infantry focused, and I'll have some gameplay up all about that. So, moving on to some other random stuff that I would like to, get, I guess, talk about. Um, what would you like to see? Because we've got a lot of free time now, and we've, we just, we want to know what you want to see, and what we what we really need to upload to, for you, or what you want to see us uploading so um hopefully you enjoy seeing this battlefield footage as much as i enjoy playing it which is clearly a lot i've just reached level 68 i believe getting close and um it's getting it's getting interesting actually i'm enjoying leveling up through these levels and progressing uh it feels much more i like the battle packs battle packs if you're not familiar there you get uh, one every two levels up until level 50 and once you reach level 50 you get one every level but uh, there's you, from 1 to 10 you get like bronze battle packs and there's bronze, silver, gold, premium, platinum and they're all different in depend, uh, depending on and there's a veteran one but you only get one of those I do believe from what I've seen but um, it's interesting uh, battle packs are a really good way in my opinion because not only can um, not only can you get them for leveling up, you can also get them for specific weapons, which means instead of just grinding forever and forever and forever, you're actually getting a decent sort of spread on when you're unlocking these guns and when you're sort of not unlocking these guns. So I hope that you have learned something from this L96A1 gameplay. Uh, what you should be taking away from this is no matter what sniper rifle you're using, remember that it is pretty good. Um, I'd recommend that trying out the L96, it's not very hard to unlock, it is basically three sniper rifle ribbons which is six kills in one round with a sniper rifle which let's be honest is one of the easiest tasks to do getting these ribbons um, unlike getting the UCAV which pretty much requires three jet fighter ribbons and I know a lot of people have been having trouble doing that one because I know that jets are not exactly everybody's favorite thing in this game 
I didn't enjoy unlocking the UCAV and I felt like I only played out superiority to unlock that as long as the stealth as well as well as the stealth jet unlocks. But um I feel that that's not how you should be wanting to play a game mode. I am really looking forward to bringing back Rush Metro. I loved Metro in Battlefield 3 and it was one of my most played maps because I guess it was just so frantic and fast paced and I don't think Locker actually captures I know how people say Locker is Metro 2.0 but really it isn't it's totally different and it's just it's barely the same map and I don't really understand why people actually compare the two because despite the close infantry base to close quarters combat it really is totally different they've got an entirely different feel and I feel that Metro sort of defined what Rush should be and uh, I feel that Locker isn't exactly what Rush is but I'd like to thank you all for watching. Remember to leave a like, favorite. Uh, remember to subscribe for more Battlefield gameplay, Minecraft, Christmas themed stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.